You're tuning into Black and White Sports on YouTube. The no holds barred truth on sports. The main event starts now. I'm back. Rodrance for our Black and White Live. Well, we got pretty big news here involving Sean Payton and Troy Aikman. As we know, it seems like with Amazon gaining the full rights to Thursday Night Football starting next season, it seems like they are getting Al Michaels. That, that's that been the strong rumor. Everybody thinks that. And now it looks like Amazon may be stealing Troy Aikman. Okay? That's part of the big news. But here's the other bombshell. Fox Sports is eyeing Sean Payton to replace Troy Aikman. Wow. This is a bombshell. We know right now Sean Payton is MIA and he has not committed to the Saints for next season. In fact, a lot of people that are used to getting to Sean and talking to Sean, people close to him, he's not responding to them. Interesting. He is on vacation. Maybe that explains some, but kind of got the notion yesterday when that story broke about him being AWOL that people are used, the, the people that have tried to contact him while on vacation usually get a response from him while on vacation is very much how this came out. This is Yahoo. Fox eyes Sean Payton if Troy Aikman bolts for Amazon. Wow. All right. The coaching carousel could have an unexpected opening. Front Office Sports reported Sunday Fox Sports is looking at New Orleans Saints coach Sean Payton as a replacement for Troy Aikman if the Hall of Fame quarterback bolts for Thursday Night Football on Amazon. Aikman has worked with Joe Buck on the lead NFL team for Fox for many years. The Peyton buzz comes after NFL Network insider Ian Rapport suggested the Saints Coats has not committed to returning next year. Well, here's Michael McCarthy. <laughs> no relation to Cowboys coach Mike McCarthy. Breaking this story, at Fox Sports wants to hire New Orleans Saints coach Sean Payton if Troy Aitman bolts for Amazon. Sources tell at uh, Front Office Sports. Prior to the end of the 2021 season, sources say Peyton was approached by at least one TV network about working in the media, and that appears to be a possibility as well. Of course, it depends on whether the 58-year-old wants to do TV or remain on the sidelines. The Dallas Cowboys could make a run at Peyton, who has three years left on his deal, or he could take a mini-retirement in 2022. Aikman uncharacteristically was critical about the play of San Francisco 49ers quarterback Jimmy Garoppolo during the NFC Divisional Round game Saturday in Green Bay. The Hall of Fame quarterback has also been rumored to be interested in joining the front office of an NFL team. Do you hear that, Jerry Jones? Maybe you should think about calling up Troy Aikman. By the way... I broke a story yesterday on our Newsbreak channel, which covers Texas sports, that Troy Aikman absolutely hammered the Dallas Cowboys into the ground this past week and slammed Jerry Jones and slammed the Cowboys' culture as dysfunctional and, and said they are no better than the Jets and the Jaguars. Ouch. Ouch. So... If you're a Saints fan and you like Troy, uh, you like Sean Payton, you probably should be concerned right now. There is a hell of a lot of hell of a lot of smoke going on right now around Sean Payton. Now here's the other scenario, and the Dallas Cowboys was brought up. I talked about it yesterday. Look, the the Cowboys, uh, Jerry Jones could approach the Saints and say, "Hey, we'll trade you a couple of draft picks for Sean Payton." Yes, that has happened in the past where teams have traded to get a head coach. Jerry Jones supposedly has been enamored by Sean Payton for years. But there's also the scenario of Sean Payton going into the booth for one year, taking a little hiatus from coaching, 
and then going back and coaching somebody, and then maybe the Dallas Cowboys are on the radar, and they know better where their team's at, where my, and if Mike McCarthy is truly going to be able to do the job, never mind that horrid call he had last week. Yikes. You got a lot of franchises involved here, and now we got media involved here. Amazon is pulling out all the stops on, on Thursday night football. I'm really wondering if the NFL is going to regret that decision to sell to them, but the problem was they had trouble finding uh, any networks that wanted to keep Thursday night football because evidently, even in lieu of the high-ass ratings, they're having problems getting advertising dollars for Thursday night football. Isn't that odd? Weird. Thursday night ratings were really good this year. Peace. I'm out. Till next time. Thanks for watching the show. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Be sure to tune in next time on Black and White Sports.